Anywho, I am leaving the house. It is 6.48 in the morning. I'm trying to get to work by eight this week. I think I'm doing 10 hour days. And I'm not trying to be there all night. I still do have to go to the grocery store for So, I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight or tomorrow. I gotta get all the eggs and stuff for the deviled eggs. I have to place the order for the greens tonight because we order those, get those catered. Um, and I got the injection seasoning, the oil, and the tricky already. So we're good on that. I just need to tell my mom. I think she needs to take it out on Tuesday. And then we season it on Wednesday. But it has to thaw because it's frozen. I don't know. Last year we didn't get a frozen turkey because I was getting it the night before. So I don't know. Um... Today, um, I told you guys last night we got everything we needed. Um, so my brother and sister-in-law's painting and a little bit of renovations that they're gonna do before they move in are being started this morning. So that's good. Um, I told you about my client. That went well. Yeah, I just have to look for some curtains and send her. I was looking for some last night, but I fell asleep. I was a little tired. And I knew I had to get up early. I do have on some new, um, new, what are these pants called? Pixie pants. Again, from Old Navy. They look really, really pretty. These are the cheetah ones, the ones I've been wanting since I saw them in the summertime. Um, drinks I did keto all yesterday I didn't cheat and then Monday Tuesday Wednesday I'll do it again although I had not meal prepped so y'all I have no idea what I'm eating today for lunch and dinner because I didn't meal prep yesterday I didn't make it to the grocery store I was so tired let me just recap my day for y'all yesterday I woke up a little late so I was supposed to be to work at 9 I didn't get there until like 9 45 go to work from 9 45 until 2. Leave at 2. Go to my brother and sister's house. Get there at 3 to meet her to swatch the wall with all of the paint samples they got. And then to meet the contractor to do a walkthrough and you know for the estimate. We do that. That takes until about 20. I stop at my mom's house just to use the bathroom and then at 4 30 I leave go to my other client's house to drop all wall art mirrors and to talk design so I get there at like five I get there at five I don't leave until about six and then I go back to my mom's house. well I stop and get me some lemon pepper wings keto so then the contractor that i met with sent me the the estimate so i had to talk with my brother and sister-in-law about that so that was around 6 30 ish i won't go back to my mom's house and they okay the quote so at this point the contractor saying i can start tomorrow if you need if you want me to and that'll give me three days of getting you know painting and work done and you'll be able to move in quicker because they were kind of wanting to move in next weekend, but we'll see, right? So they were like, dang, like we ain't got none of the paint or anything, we buy, buy the materials ourselves. So at this point it's like 6.45 and Home Depot closes at eight on Sundays. So we lollygag around with the kids or whatever for another 15 minutes. And then me and my sister-in-law hop in my brother's truck and we go <laughs> to Home Depot to buy everything. We literally, we had to get two five gallon buckets of paint, okay? Two white semi-gloss gallons of paint. We had to cut 
the trim for the wainscoting at the bottom of the dining room um, wall and we had to get all the caulking yeah I was in there with a <laughs> saw cutting the trim and they were like this store is closing the store is closing we literally walked out of the store I'm pretty sure we were the last customer pretty sure like <laughs> we literally walked out of the store when it was closing and then um yeah and then we dropped it all back off and we couldn't even lift the five gallon buckets of paint like we kind of both lifted the first one onto the seat in my brother's car and then this man saw us struggling he was like do you guys need help and my sister in law was like yes we're struggling yes can you help us with the second one so he just put it up in the back seat for us so that was nice and then um uh, we got it unloaded at my brother's house so that was last night um, and then I went back to my parents house I stayed for another like 30 minutes the kids were asleep by that time I did have my niece Brooklyn I was burping her and then I was like uh, I gotta go to sleep because I know I have to get up early for work so that was my day yesterday and Saturday was pretty busy too because I told you guys I had to get up go get my mom take her to her dress fitting and then we went <clears throat> we met my friends for faux and then I had to go to the at-home store for a client and I did I saw some stuff but the line was literally wrapped around the store so I had to leave go to Baltimore to my brother's birthday dinner and come back from Baltimore back to the at-home store to purchase my client's stuff by this time there was you know the line was there was no line and then go home then to get up and do all the stuff I just said on Sunday so I did not really have a weekend honestly so I'm looking forward to the four days that I'll have off after Thanksgiving the only thing that's on my agenda for that time is we have a photo shoot that Saturday the 30th it's in the middle of the day and then I have to pick up the rest of my garland from Walmart um, by that Sunday um, so yeah that is what is on the agenda this time so I got all of my I posted on Instagram that I got all of my Christmas bins pulled upstairs which was a doozy um but I think next this year I'm going to take a little bit more time and packing the stuff away because I think last year I was just unpacking it and putting it in whatever available bins was there and consequently I had to open every bin downstairs before I brought it upstairs to see what was in it like if I put like fireplace mantle, all the stuff that goes on the fireplace mantle in one bin and then I label it, then I'll know. Last year I just put stuff in bins, like whatever fits in here, fine, whatever fits in here. So I'm going to try to do that this year. But we'll see. So I'm excited. I didn't buy anything new for my tree. The only other thing that I'm thinking about buying new is maybe not using the deer head and using some picks. I've been seeing a lot of people do that. But I would have to go to Michael's or Joanne to get that stuff. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go next weekend. Because there is a Michael's down by where the um, picture place is. So I don't know. We'll see. kitchen set using the 25% off Target toy coupon on Saturday. 
but that was for you know that's for her birthday that's not for christmas but anyway um so we're good like from Shein um, yesterday because they were having a sale. I ended up saving like 30 some dollars plus I got free expedited shipping so it'll be here probably by Wednesday since I ordered on Sunday. Um, we'll see. But not unless that's it. But I don't know. Um, I ordered like some sweaters, just some winter stuff, like some outfits and stuff. So any more swimsuits for my January trip. I do need to order my bridesmaid's dress, if that's what you want to call it, but we're waiting on the swatches to come to my mom's house of the fabric and the color so we know which color is closest. I uh, ordered them yet last week, so they should be at her house this week. And then we can order our dresses. So, yeah. Um, what else? Monday, the 25th of November, it's 9.41. Just getting home, I had to go help my brother and sister-in-law at Home Depot get some trim and stuff for some wainscoting. But my outfit came for the family photos this year. And we're supposed to wear cream. This is not really cream though. I feel like this is darker than cream. I don't know if this is gonna work. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm gonna try it on. It's a sweater um, set. So it's like a, a high waisted skirt and then a cropped sweater. I might have to send it back. It was $35 from Forever 21. Um, and it's in the color taupe, but this is not tan. I don't know, guys. Hmm. What y'all think? I'm gonna try it on though. Hey guys. Happy Tuesday. It is November the um, 26th. And it's like 6 50 in the morning. Again, because it's 6 52. Leave that. Probably 6 55 because my clock is slow. Um, and I am headed to work. You guys know I've been, I'm going to be working 10 hour days this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday this week. Um, I didn't really sleep that well. I was very productive at work yesterday. I got a lot done, but I also like, I just felt like my mind was all over the place and I was really emotional. And that may be because my cycle is about to start, but last night it was like no different. Like I was just like really emotionally like drained and it affected my sleep a lot. I think I fell asleep around midnight and then woke back up at like 3.30. And then I was like up and I tried to put on like a video just to fall asleep too. And I must have fell asleep a little bit, but it wasn't a good sleep. Then when I woke back up, it was like 6.15 and I needed to leave the house by 6.45. So I'm a little late. I had to take out the trash. But, um, you know, hopefully it passes. Hopefully it's just PMS. I don't know. But I did go with my brother and sister-in-law last night. We took Mimi with us to... Um, get some more trim for the wain they're gonna do wainscoting in their foyer entryway now and then we 
couldn't find the same chair rail, which they, of course, they want. So I think they're going to try Lowe's today to see if that's where the builder got it from, or at least that's where they maybe they could get a, a match for it. If not, they're just going to do something similar from one of the stores because it is in another room, so you won't be able to tell that the chair rail is that different. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Um, they sent me pictures of the painting progress and that looks good so far. Um, the family room and the sunroom so far have been paintings, painted. So I guess today they'll finish up those rooms and then do the living room and maybe start the dining room. The dining room is getting wings floating on the bottom half under the chair rail. So I'm not sure if they'll start that first or they'll paint the top half gray first. But yeah. And then we'll have second contractor come hopefully sometime this weekend to give us an estimate on some custom built-ins in the family room so that'll be cool um what else that was yesterday i went to taco bell to get something to eat last night because popeye's line was so long and i wanted to get the black and chicken strips but the line was way too long and i knew i had to go to the store with them so <clears throat> I went to Taco Bell and they have something called a Power Bowl or something and it was really good. I told them to take the beans out of it but she didn't tell me or I didn't hear her when she said it had rice in it so that kind of messed it up but other than that it had a little bit of guacamole, sour cream, shredded lettuce, shredded cheese and chicken, grilled chicken um, in it and it was really really good actually so that wasn't bad. It was like six bucks. That's something different that I can switch up instead of just going to Wendy's or getting a salad from McDonald's or whatever. Um, and it's not a lot to eat around my parents, so that was an option. Um, I showed you guys my outfit came. I tried it on and it fits really good, but I'm just worried about the color. So I brought it with me just in case I go to my parents' house. I looked on it and the color is actually taupe, but it looks really, really light in the model picture online. So I don't know. I gotta see what everybody else's stuff is looking like. I do have a ivory off-white dress that has like gold on it I showed you guys before it's a um, Michael Kors dress I, I could wear that but I'd rather wear this um, but we'll see we shall see so yeah if not I'll probably send this back because I spent $35 on it and I can get something from Amazon that looks the same for cheaper I only went with Forever 21 because I needed the color the color is off so I don't know Next thing, I ordered, my friend was supposed to fry our turkey for us on Thanksgiving, but now he's saying he has family coming in town, so he's not sure if he'll be able to do it at a decent time for us. So rather than like wait it out and piss everybody off, I just went ahead and ordered one of the Butterball indoor turkey fryers last night from Amazon. It's supposed to be delivered tomorrow, by tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so they had two different ones. I got the extra um, large size so you can fry up to a 20 pound turkey in it. And our turkey this year is only like 13 pounds, so that's fine. But some years we have bigger turkeys. Um, so it's only like 13 pounds, so that's fine. And um, they had two different ones. So they had the extra large one, stainless steel, for $99. And then they had the extra large stainless steel with a timer built in on it, like a little small timer screen, and that was $130. So I got the $99 one because I can set a timer on my phone or set a timer on my mom's oven. Like this was a last minute purchase, so I didn't want to spend the extra $30. Um, but it should be coming on Wednesday. I need to get in contact with my mom ASAP to tell her to take the turkey out of the freezer because I did not know that you have to thaw a turkey for like three days. Like, yikes. I wanted to season it tomorrow night. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm going to tell her to take it out today and we'll see what happens with it. Um, maybe I'll try to put it in some water and stuff for a few hours after I get home or something. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm going to try to get into contact with her. It's 7 o'clock, so she should be getting up soon. And tell her to take it out of the freezer and put it in the refrigerator. Um, and we'll see what happens. So, yeah. 
that's an update on that. I have not started to put out my Christmas um, tree and stuff yet. I know you guys saw on Instagram that I pulled it out, but I did not put it up yet because last night I was, you know, with my brother and sister law. So tonight, if I don't go over there, maybe I'll try to at least get the tree up and then fluff it. But I know the tree pieces are heavy. I'm gonna try to do it. We'll see. I had help last year, so um, we'll see. But if not, you know, I can get someone to come and help me another, another, on another day. Um, but I'm going to at least try to do that. Do it in, like, sections so it won't seem like it's so much, you know? So I plan to get the tree up, fluff it, and then start the ribbon. And I need to go to Michael's to get some more ribbon, actually. But anyway, because I want to add some royal blue ribbon or navy ribbon or whatever. Um, but... I also need to pick up the rest of my garland for my banisters this weekend. So maybe if I can get the tree up, fluffed, and the ribbon done by this weekend, there won't be so much left to do after I bring home the garland. I don't know. I actually also need to get a couple of flower picks for the garland. But I didn't realize when I was at Walmart that I didn't have any more. So I need to get that together. That's it, y'all. myself this morning and because I had that faux and those fried egg rolls over the weekend still haven't bounced back from there I've lost some since then but I'm still up like 1.2 pounds from where I was on Saturday before I ate that stuff because I had gained like two or three pounds back <clears throat> so I'm still going strong Let's see what happened today I didn't eat enough yesterday I know that was it because <clears throat> I didn't eat <clears throat> that Taco Bell until like 7 and before that I only had a small container of chicken salad at like 10 a.m. because I was just so like in my head and emotional and like uh, yesterday that I just didn't eat anything and I forgot my pickles today that sucks but anywho <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can reach my mom and you guys have an amazing Tuesday uh, Tomorrow is Thanksgiving Eve, if that's the thing. So if you're cooking, uh, good luck to you. And I hope that you uh, have a good experience with that. Because I really won't be cooking anything except eggs. I'm going to go to the grocery store too tonight because I refuse to go tomorrow. So i got to get some eggs and the stuff for the um, deviled eggs. Like the, I think I have mustard though. I need to get some other stuff. But, um, yeah, I gotta get the eggs. Like, definitely gotta get the eggs. So, I gotta go to a grocery store tonight. That's what I gotta do. Add that to the list. But that's fine. Um, that's not a big deal. So, anywho, and I'm happy that I did go ahead and take the plunge and order the fryer because now we have one. We have our own. Every year, we have our own indoor one. Now, we really have an outdoor fryer. I don't know where it is. I think I let somebody use it. But anywho, we definitely have an indoor one now. So that's good. And then, um, let's tell you guys. I'm glad that I got our own fryer because now we have our own fryer. And like I said, I got the extra large one because my family usually has big turkeys. The only reason we didn't do a huge turkey this year was because we're also smoking turkey legs and we have turkey wings um, as well. So that's why we did a 13 pound turkey. So yeah. Um, and I think we're gonna have two hams. I think. So yeah, I told you guys I ordered the greens yesterday. My um, father's gonna pick those up at noon on Wednesday. I need to call and change the pickup time for that. work this week but the earlier I leave the house the longer it's taking me to get to work because everybody wants to go to work 
I'm like, what's up with all these overachievers? I'm not understanding this. I literally thought Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday would be a breeze because everybody would be off the whole week. What's going on? I'm just sitting. I haven't even got on the parkway yet. Yeah. Anywho, that's enough rambling. I need to try to reach my mama so she can take this turkey out, okay? Every year we got some BS with our turkey. You know, last year, remember y'all? I was running around on Thanksgiving Eve trying to find a turkey in the injection season. Well, this year I thought I was definitely prepared and then I didn't. I didn't know you had to take turkey out this early, so. Oh well, I'm about to call her and tell her to do that, so. See ya. Oh, I uploaded a new vlog. That's what I want to tell you guys. Upload a new vlog this morning, and it will be up by the time you see this video. But if you haven't seen it, it's called um, Family Birthday Dinner and Moving Furniture. Because I got um, my new couch up in place, and I got my new Z Gallery mirror dresser in my in my um, guest room as well. I still haven't brought all the drawers up and put in it. They're still in my garage, but the dresser's up there. That's the, the main thing I needed. So if you haven't watched it, go check it out because it's definitely already up now. All right, bye. Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. I'm just getting off of work at 6 o'clock. I have to go to the grocery store to get the stuff for the devil eggs, and I need to get me something to eat. I really want some sardis, the Louisiana chicken. That would allow me to eat something today and tomorrow. But I don't know. Y'all, I'm tired. I didn't really sleep that well last night, like I told you. So I was really, really tired. And I had a slight headache. But I know I have a headache because I haven't eaten much. All I had was an omelet this morning. And the omelet came with toast and potatoes. Breakfast potatoes. And I did not eat that. I did have a bite of toast, though. But oh well. So that's all I put on my stomach today. I had a few almonds probably around 3 o'clock because I was getting hungry. But I just didn't feel like walking anywhere to go and get anything. And I knew I was going to get something when I got home. So, yeah. Um, I have no idea which grocery store I'm going to. But we will see. Maybe I'll go to Largo. I don't know. Anywho. No, maybe I'll go over by um, Forestville. I don't know. Um, but I'm thinking about going to Sardis. That's really what I want. And it's not, it's healthy. It's not horrible. So we'll see. I was productive again today. I got a lot done. So that was good. Um, what else? I switched the time. I had to switch the time to pick up the greens at the soul food restaurant tomorrow. Because I didn't know my father was off. So he said he would just pick them up around noon. So I switched that time. And then Mimi's kitchen set is being delivered today. It hasn't came yet, but when I get the alert, I'll text my brother and have him go to the house to, um, you know, pull it in the garage. Also, the four-wheeler Minnie Mouse six-volt whatever ride-on toy that I bought for her is supposed to be delivered today as well. And I just got the shipping notification today. So that's crazy. I told you guys I ordered that. Um, was it Monday night? I don't know when I ordered it. No. Over the weekend, it was the Black Friday price, so I went ahead and ordered it. I did put some stuff in my Walmart cart for my um, nephew, but I'm gonna see if the prices drop on Black Friday or not um, because they're just little small toys and one push toy. Well, actually, two of them are not small toys, one's a big toy and one's a push toy. Um, so we'll see. Um, and I just put different varieties in there, so we'll see which one drops down the lowest because he doesn't care. And then I just gotta tackle my other niece, it is an infant. So I think I'm gonna just get her some clothes and maybe a new snowsuit. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm going to attempt. When I go to the store, I had called my mom right before I started vlogging for you guys. Because I was going to ask her if she wanted me to drop off the stuff for the eggs. But since I got to go there tomorrow after work and season and inject the turkey and stuff. I might as well um, just buy the deviled egg stuff and take it to my house tonight and then go to my house tomorrow and get it and drop it to her house because I don't want to have to go to her house twice basically even though it's right around the corner um so I think I'm just go to the store and then get me something to eat and go home because when I get home I think I'm going to try to put up my tree and fluff it at least tonight we'll see I'm tired I'm cramping I don't feel like it but it is what it is we'll see um, if it gets done because if I do it in phases it won't be so 
so much of a daunting task since I now I have now added the um, all the banisters as well and that's gonna take some time too so yeah I actually have to when I go to Walmart to pick up my um, other uh, garland I need to look and see if they have the clip-on flowers that I can put on my banister if not I can use bows because I found some gold and silver bows that are brand new I can use them from big lots that I had but <clears throat> yeah we'll see it'll look pretty whatever I throw up there we'll see but I just wanted this to look a little festive I was telling my friend Brittany that I, I wouldn't mind having um a skinny tree in my foyer area and decorated with silver and blush because that's like the colors down there um and I have a blush uh tree skirt that I bought but it has specks of gold in it so I will probably have to add gold down there too um to go with the tree skirt but I don't know I don't want to pay full price for it right now so if I do get a skinny tree it would have to be after the holiday is over and if I do get some blush ornaments it would have to be after the holiday is over and then I could put it up next year and I do still have um my original Christmas tree that wasn't flocked um that I used that originally came with the rotating stand from Walmart um and that one is supposed to go in my basement eventually but my basement's not set up yet so just not happening this year I'm barely trying to put up one tree and do my banisters so bear with me um well yeah Ooh, excuse me y'all I'm so tired I'm hungry I think I should go to the Home Depot first I'm almost gonna say forget the sardines and just get me something quick but um, let me see anywho I'm trying to um, do it for Thanksgiving y'all cooking I've been seeing your comments rolling on the um, vlog that I posted today I'm trying to um, reply as many as I can um, some of you guys were asking me questions and stuff. Um, what else? Oh, I, I've been getting this question a lot. A lot of you, I said it in one vlog, but I don't remember which one I said it in. And some of you guys forget too. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me how I book my travel deals. Because I tell you guys when I go on vacation, I don't pay a lot of money. So what I do is, um, I look at, I have the app, some apps on my phone that I look at. Expedia is one of them, Orbitz as well. But, um, and most of the time they have the same price, but sometimes they don't because for the Cabo trip, um, the flight price had increased on Orbitz, but on Expedia it hadn't. So I booked through Expedia. So I book my flights um, through like either Spirit. Usually if you book on Tuesdays, it's cheaper, but I book on like Spirit or you can go directly to the airline like Southwest or whatever. Cause a lot of the um, travel deal sites don't search Southwest. That's a tip. So search Southwest separately and, and also do, you know, the travel sites, Orbitz, um, Expedia, stuff like that um, for flight deals. Um, also, I have an app called Secret Flying on my phone, which sends out push notifications whenever it finds cheap flights from your air, from anywhere. But you can do, um, you can tailor it from just like if I wanted to do Washington, D.C. area or whatever. And it'll just send me a push notification every time there's um, really cheap flights from there going somewhere else. And it'll give you like the month's range that you can choose. So it may be from like December to um February or maybe January to March or something like that or whatever um, but the other thing that I do is I typically like to stay at Secrets Resorts I love them they're top-notch I love them I love them I love them and a lot of resorts I know Rui as well Rui was really nice that's where I stayed in Cabo um, Rui allows you to reserve your um, vacant your resort stay without paying anything you can pay upon check-in and so that's what I did for my birthday because it allowed me like I reserved it months in advance and it allowed me months to set aside money so that when I got there I had all the money to pay it in full also um, once you reserve it if the price drops before you check in all you do is call and ask for the price adjustment and I did that twice before I actually got to Cabo so I saved like it was something like 200 and some dollars on the room um, between the two times because the price dropped twice. So I would just keep going back to the, the Rui site and um, searching the same days, the same amount of days, the same amount of days and the same dates that I had originally um, booked or reserved and they would lower the price, no questions asked. So that's one way. The other way is when I um, book through Secrets, Secrets only requires you, if you go directly through Secrets, they only require you to um, 
put down a deposit of one night stay. So maybe you're staying for four or five days, but it's only $400 a night. Well, you only have to pay 400 plus tax. And then you can, they will charge the same card or you can use a different card. I've done that before too. Um, 14 days before your trip, which is an, another way to have a lot of time to set aside money to go. And I only book when it's a deal going on or when if the price is already low or something. I don't book when it's super, super high. Um, because the downside about booking through like Orbitz, Expedia and stuff is you do have to pay usually in full. Um, unless you sign up for like one of those credit card things or whatever you have to pay interest on that if you want to make payments so when I have used Orbitz and Expedia in the past like when I use um, Expedia for my Cabo flights I paid for those flights in full at that time when I've used Orbitz for many trips many many trips in the past I paid the whole entire trip off and I've used them also for um, resort and flight package deals but you still have to pay it off so you have to pay it off immediately so what i do now is like i said i just buy my flight separately and pay those in full and then i will um reserve the room and pay on pay the room balance later what we did for jamaica was we um we stayed at a secret resort so we paid the first night um that we paid one night's um deposit and then we waited on spirit until the prices dropped for the flights from Baltimore to Jamaica and we waited a while for them to drop I think we booked on a Tuesday again and we just kept watching it sometimes you have to watch it in the morning and sometimes you track it again in the afternoon because the prices will change especially on Tuesdays and so we would we booked the flight and then 14 days before the trip you know they charged our car for the remaining um, resort fee so that's how we did that um, I think with cruises you can book directly through the cruise line and you can pay on it because you only have to pay a deposit when you go on a cruise. But um, also um, check out cheapcaribbean.com. That's a, a good site to, to do. I know they have an option now where you can split it in half or something, but I think there is like a fee to do that, a small fee to do that. And then you can also book cruises from there. Cheapcruises.com is another one, but also just going directly through the cruise line. So if it's Carnival or um, Royal Caribbean. My family is supposed to be doing a family cruise around Christmas time next year. And I think I'm just gonna go directly through Royal Caribbean. Um, we've looked at a couple of the ones. We want to get on one of their new boats. So I've um, done the research on which ones are leaving around that time and it would be leaving from Florida so we would still have to get um, flights. So I would still have to track you know flights to get the best deal on those. Um, but yeah we'll start planning for that probably after we come back from Turks and Caicos honestly because that'll give us almost the entire year to, to plan and pay for that. Um, what else? So that's pretty much how I do it guys. Honestly. You do usually have to pay for baggage um, unless you get south, a Southwest deal where bags fly free. Most of the time I do pay for my baggage um, when I go, but I only use one suitcase and so it's usually $30 each way usually. Um, so just factor that in, you know, when you're actually ready to um, travel and that's it. That's how I do it. But again, I don't book anything unless it's a good price, period. Like the resort has to be having a bomb sale or something or the prices just have to be low already um, for me to book it. And it has to be a deal on the flights. So I also prefer not to do, we did, did do a layover when we went to Cabo just because I think we had to. Um, but I also prefer to do straight flights um, because I'm impatient people that I normally travel with are impatient <laughs> and um, I just prefer prefer um, not stop flights but I mean when we had the layover in Houston it wasn't horrible but it was just it was a bit much especially when you're going out of the country because you have to come back in through customs at your layover spot and a lot of times my layovers weren't that long maybe like an hour hour and a half and you had to go to customs claim your baggage recheck your baggage and then you know it was just a lot so if you can avoid the layovers but I know some places you can't um somebody asked me who was it where do I want to go next after I guess my trip to Turks and Caicos with my family you guys Phuket Thailand is on my list I think it looks amazing there and I want to go I want to experience it 
and I want to go to Paris. I really want to go to Paris, and it's so funny because um, also I have the Hopper app on my phone, and the Hopper app just tracks the flights that you search for so you can set it to search the to track the prices of flights so i must have tracked um from um dallas to paris in march of 2020 i must have tracked that at some point because it's still tracking the price and i got a push notification today saying that they have flights from dallas airport which is virginia basically um to paris in march for 398 round trip which was really really good and it'll tell you it'll, it'll tell you um that's a good price it won't go any lower book now or it'll say um prices are prices will drop don't book now or you should wait or you know whatever it'll give you its recommendation on whether you should purchase or not but of course that one said we haven't seen prices this low in over six months you should book now blah 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 but um, I say all that to say Paris is on my list, but I would like to go to Paris when it's warm outside. I, I don't wanna go when it's cold. Um, I don't wanna go. And where else? I would love to go to Hawaii. I've been saying since I was a little girl that I wanna go to Hawaii. So I wanna go to Hawaii. And I don't know why Belize is on my list. It just sounds exotic to me. I don't know. They had um, really, really cheap flights back in the summertime to Belize but I already had so many trips planned and I still have not been to Aruba so hopefully with the cruise we'll knock out some of them I know some of them were on the cruise I think maybe Belize was um but I'm not sure but anyway um I just really love to travel I like how it makes me feel I like the experiences and everything so it's pretty cool um and I haven't traveled with my family in years um so it'll be cool to have that experience this come come January and I don't know if I told you guys we're going in January and um, we're going right around the time of my father's birthday in fact when we fly back the day we fly back is my father's birthday so we didn't really plan that that well um, but we'll probably celebrate like go out to dinner or something the following weekend when we come back but um, yeah so that'll be cool to travel with my family because I haven't done that in so long and now that we have all the kids in the family it'll be definitely um, different because I'm so used to traveling at adult only resorts which is a different vibe totally so um, I haven't I haven't went to a family friendly resort since I was in that wedding um, in um, Dominican Republic so it'll be interesting um but yeah and then I'm excited for the cruise if I don't go on another cruise before next Christmas which I may because I've been getting the cruise itch and I've been seeing some really cheap ones um just like three-day ones but I've already been to the Bahamas so I don't know but anyway um I'm excited about going on the uh family cruise too in next uh next Christmas time that'll be fun so I also want to see if my family can do like a cabin again. I wasn't really um, vlogging when we did the cabins. We did them two years in a row. One year, the first year we did it for my father's birthday weekend, but we went, we went for his birthday, but we went in February because they were all booked up in January, which is when his birthday is. And we had so much fun. We went to Mass and that time. We had so much fun. And then the next time we got an even bigger cabin in Deep Creek, Maryland, and we did Thanksgiving dinner there. So we... We checked in the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and then we checked out the Saturday Saturday after. And I remember we did Saturday so that people could have Sunday before they had to go back to work. But I remember when we were leaving, people were like, oh man, we should have booked it for one more day, you know? Cause Deep Creek was like three hours away, I wanna say from us. But it was really, really nice. And I have been on the website, the Deep Creek Rentals or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but just Google if you're in the DMV area. Um, Deep Creek, um, Maryland, and they have a ton more like cabins and rentals and stuff on there. And it was so much so that even last week they still had a lot available for Thanksgiving. And I know when we booked a couple years ago, if you didn't book early, you weren't getting anything around either holiday season. So I think it would be cool to do like a Christmas away from home but with the kids it's kind of hard because you got to bring their gifts and stuff like that so either even though I keep saying we're going to do a cruise for Christmas next year it's not going to be like we're not going to spend Christmas on the boat I don't think um one of the options is maybe going right after Christmas and spending New Year's on the cruise I think my family is willing to do that um but even getting a, a cabin rental for Christmas would be cool um, but we would have to like bring a Christmas tree and like bring the presents and it's just you know with small kids you know 
so um but we did do thanksgiving one year and it was really fun like that thanksgiving stands out to me um and you know everybody all the adults just paid their i don't know what it was three hundred dollars or something for the three nights and we broke down the menu everybody was responsible for something and it worked out great and it was a super walmart right down the road and we ended up going black friday shopping there and we went there the night before to get like groceries and stuff for the whole weekend for the cabin and whatever else we needed to supplement like the the ingredients for our dishes for thanksgiving um the thanksgiving dinner and it was really really fun it had a pool table it had a hot tub it was really really nice it was secluded it was really really nice like that was one of the best thanksgivings that stands out in my mind um so i think like having the kids and stuff now that would be really really cool to do um but we'll see i don't know i don't know if we're gonna do that because we have the cruise next year but maybe the following year we'll do it i'm not sure um but yeah i blabbled for 20 minutes guys so i'm going to get off of here and head to the grocery store deuces y'all i'm so blown right now i forgot the giant doesn't sell slaw dressing that I use for my eggs so guess what okay Bunt has to go back to the store tomorrow and get it from Safeway so luckily there's one by my mom's house and I have to go there to season the turkey and inject it anyway after work but I was trying to only go to the store one day but y'all know how it is I gotta go back I gotta go to another store now whatever anywho um, I showed y'all the rosé I got. I got two dozen eggs. I told you guys my family is great. Somebody else is bringing deviled eggs though. Because I told you guys my family is doing a joint. Um, I got two dozen eggs. And then I got some mustard. Even though I think I have a new mustard at my house. Like I don't never know what I got. So I just be buying it. I was going to buy some paprika. Because that's what I sprinkle on the top of my eggs. And I don't know if I have any or not. But them seasons was like $5. So I just use it at my mom's house. I do it all the time. Anywho, um, and then I got the sparkling rosé I showed you. I got one can of the jelly cranberry sauce just because I really like that. And my mom makes homemade cranberry sauce, which is good. Um, but it's something about that jellied cranberry sauce from Ocean Spray that I like grew up on. It's really good. And I'm not sure if she, I'm not sure that she bought any. So I just got one can just in case, just in case. Um, and then I got me a big bag of barbecue pork rinds because my stomach is literally doing flips. I have not eaten since 10 a.m. today and I'm starving right now. The grocery store was like so crazy. I'm about to go to Sardi's right now. 746. I was in there for like 30 minutes looking for it and then I remember Giant doesn't have it. So yeah. I got me a big bag. Usually I get the individual bags so I had a big bag. So I got that. And now I'm about to go to Sardi's some dinner. I can't believe I went to the wrong store, y'all. Yeah, that's how you know I'm tired. But anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Guys, I made good on my word. I just still need to fluff the bottom a little. You see how it's like, I'm just tired. I have on a thick sweater and I'm sweating. But I was showing my mom, I got the middle and the top done. I just need to fix the bottom. And I want to get some red velvet, I mean, not red velvet, blue velvet um, ribbon this year to add to it. See how it's messed up at the bottom? Don't y'all worry. I don't know if I showed y'all the couch yet, but this is the couch. I just need to add the pillows. At first, I need to vacuum it off. And then you see all this flocking? This is the only downside to a flock tree. It looks beautiful, but it's messy. So I'm going to have to sweep after I finish. And then these are the things that I got for the matching garland. I may do the garland tomorrow. I'm not sure, but we'll see. This is the tree so far.